All right, welcome back to the Sci Russia Warehouse. Um, we're here today for another quick video. Uh, we're gonna show you how to do a top bleed on these zoom brakes. Um, so this is the brake on the XF900 and the XF690. When your bike has is having this issue, so if I'm if I am squeezing these bar or these brake levers, you can see this one has a pretty solid firm stop and it stops with a you know good distance there, an inch inch away from the bars. This one, on the other hand, I can squeeze it almost all the way to the bars. And as I if I squeeze it quickly, then it kind of pumps close. It, it gets firmer and firmer as I pump. Now what's happening is it's got air trapped in here. And so it gets firmer and firmer because the air kind of moves around and shifts and causes it to get stronger. But either way, it's, um, we want to make it so they're both a nice, solid, safe stop. So what I need, I need a couple of um, tools. Um, I've, I've got a four millimeter because I'm going to want to use that to adjust the handlebars. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I've got this brake bleed kit. Um, we just they don't sponsor us. Don't say it. Don't <laughs> they didn't it's sponsor off us? Off of Ramazon. It's a store that rhymes with Ramazon. Store rhymes with Ramazon. Got it off of there. Um, we'll send. We'll s put a link in the description. Um, the the parts that I need for it for this top bleed is really just the funnel. Um, this one I had to add this extra piece because just so that I had the right connection for this. Um. Yeah, that particular kit, we bought it because it came with a ton of different connectors. So if you have different models, different brands of, of uh, brakes, then it'll work on many different models. And then I also want a rag because if I have any spill, and I also want some isopropyl alcohol. This stuff is great, great, great for cleaning bikes. Um, then the last thing I need is a Torx. This is... Um, and some oil. <coughs> and, sorry, and some mineral oil. <laughs> These, um, the zoom brakes take a, just, um, You can use oil. canola oil or vegetable oil or, I'm <laughs> just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so first step, I wanna get this so it is facing up. So this is, here's my Let's get this tag out zoom here. lever. Sorry, got a tag in the way. Um, I want this to be flat. And so you can either do it by loosening these two bolts here. I think it's kind of a pain to get back there. So I'm just gonna loosen these front ones on the front of this bike. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'm just gonna rotate the whole entire handlebar by doing this, which not a big deal. Just remember to tighten it up before you go and try to ride again. And I'm also gonna kind of turn my handlebar. So right about here, see it's nice flat level. I'll minimize the spilling that way. Next, I'll take my Torx and see this little bolt right here on the top. Um, that's what I wanna loosen. So, um, I believe this one's a T10. So I loosen this up. And as you can see, once I get it off, this right here, make sure you have this little metal piece and that rubber grommet, those are very important. But this leads straight into the oil reservoir here. And that's what I want. So now that I've got that opened up and got access to that, I will screw in my funnel like I said, this one's got like a little extension, so it's a little bit funky to work with, but you want to make sure you get the right threads here so that you have a nice solid connection here at the bottom so you don't have any oil spilling out. Okay, next I'm just going to fill this funnel up with um, oil. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't need to be a ton, just enough. And um, this one, because I have this tube here, you'll be able to see the bubbles coming through here, but what you're watching for now is you're gonna watch for bubbles rising through your funnel. So I'm gonna start pumping the brake here. And as you can see, it, this when I do this, it takes it a minute to kind of fill up this. Oh, yeah. This it has a little plunger. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you how we use that in a second. Um, okay, so now I'm about to the top here. And as you can see, see these bubbles rising through there? And if you look right down here at the bottom, there's like a whole bunch of really teeny tiny bubbles and it's causing it to look a little bit clearer. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna keep working it. So keep squeezing the brake until all of these bubbles get worked out. And if you don't have this extension part, can't see that, you just wanna be watching from the top as you keep um, 
squeezing it, you just wanna watch for all the bubbles to just rise out of it. So I'll keep squeezing this a little bit. And I, if you, you can flick it like this, I'm flicking. So I'm just squeezing it and, and letting it slap open. That kind of helps to bump some of the oils. Flick out. the line, the brake line. Does that yeah, anything? yeah. You can you can kind of flick the line. This now this one um, runs all the way up on the inside and all the way to the back here. So um, most of it it should be mostly heading uphill to get here. There might be a couple of kinks in there, but um, for the most part we're pretty good. So it's already getting firmer as I'm doing this, and now I'm kind of running out of bubbles. Um, there's some more. Oh, there's... Now one thing you can do, I'll bring this little plunger, plunger back. So if I put this in my, it's got a little stopper in the hole. I can, I can kind of push this in and pop a little bit. And as you can see, it, it helps kind of break up. Sometimes there'll be a couple of bubbles that'll just be sitting here pretty close. And for whatever reason, they don't want to come out unless you kind of have a little bit of force. Kind of using a vacuum to... Exactly, yep. So causing just a little vacuum to kind of change the pressure. Then I'll go back to squeezing it for a little while. Be a good grip workout here. And I just want to keep doing this until I don't see any more bubbles come out. So it's getting pretty close. It's feeling a lot firmer. It still feels a little bit squishy. So I kind of, a little spongy, I kind of just going to work this. So that, the color change in the bottom, is that the bubbles? Is that the oil from the... So a little bit of both, I guess. Yeah. So as, as you kind of, as the air comes out, right, it's getting replaced with, with new oil. Um, and part of that is also um, some of the old oil starts coming back up through this line. So you'll see that if you're using the funnel. Um, it's kind of a, a, it's still pretty pink. It, um, we tried, we've done bleed here, it's still pretty pink, but it seems to be just a little bit of a lighter shade to this other kind we're using, so. And just like that, right out there, I'm gonna do a little bit, a few more passes and Okay, now that I've got all the bubbles out and it's feeling nice and firm, I'm ready to um, finish up. And so now here's where you can use the stopper again to, to push the stopper in to kind of help. Um, this stopper is not, does not have a super great um, suctioning ability. And so it, it's gonna kind of leak on me a little bit, but I'll, I'll have just a little rag here um, to kind of help catch some of the oil as it as I loosen this up. And as I use, if I use the stopper, usually as I um, spin it out, it'll leave me a nice little, um, let's see, if you look in there, there's, um, you can kind of see that the, the there's like a little bit of oil here so it's like kind of up all the way to the top that's good that means that there's not going to be any more air bubbles as i um tighten this nut on um and then my next step is i'm just gonna put this make sure that i still have the metal and the rubber grommet and i'll just kind of insert this into here and then tighten that down in now I just want this to be snug. It doesn't have to be crazy tight or anything. There you go. Get and, some alcohol and clean it up. Yeah, final step. Just take your rubbing alcohol and that'll help clean up all of this um, grease that kind of gets left behind, all that oil. And yeah. All right, give your salute.